Why is there a group of people out here in the middle of a desert, a dry lake bed? There's a lot of... Whoa. <laughs> what are they fighting so hard for? What are they defending? I think we know their disposition now. They're not friendly. What's in your treasure trove? What Shit, have you, you done? done? Stabbed your friend. <laughs> Another car exploded. Looks like there's just one more left. I didn't mean it. Don't kill me. <laughs> Sorry, I don't take requests. Aha. Uh -huh. An underground bunker of sorts? What's so special about this? Dip them in bullets and roll them in the dirt. Yeah, yeah. Time for more fighting. I know. <laughs> oh, I see. It's one of those vault tech vaults. Okay. Aside from a few mantises out here in the opening area, there are a few corpses as well. I can only guess as to what happened here. I like to keep a rabbit's foot in my pocket. They say it's good luck. Though, uh, I'm not sure the rabbit would agree. <laughs> a couple of rats scurrying around down here. As long as they stay out of my way. Don't have a problem with them. And they're in my way. Don't worry, boss. With my cataracts, much to that fact, you only sort they were of more scared like than that. a puppy pooping peach. <laughs> ah, whoa! You ask me. I mean, if that fits with your schedule. This looks to be a classroom of sorts, and the teacher's terminal. Does that have anything useful? Henry Glover says, Nate Stone should be overseer, not me. Donna Haley says, I am grossly underqualified for the position, and both of my opponents are far more deserving. I know nothing about governance. You'd be hard-pressed to find a worse candidate than me. And candidate Nate Stone says, This is ridiculous. I shouldn't even be a candidate. Let's not leave any stone unturned. Let's check every room, including the bathrooms. Push the lever for an important message from your government. I'm not getting anything. I think the lever might be broken. I understand the symbolism. Government doesn't listen to the people. It's very unresponsive. Who could have imagined that bathroom graffiti could be so poignant? Down the rabbit hole we go, finding vermin. But we're not finding enough answers. Oh! <laughs> I got lucky there, that shotgun wasn't properly rigged. Let's check out the overseer's terminal here. It is locked and requires an administrator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this? Sandbags, defensive perimeter? don't think they were trying to keep the mantises out. Just a hunch here. No. Oh. Sorry, you, your time at the podium is over. <laughs> Sorry, you're only allowed three minutes to speak. You give some of the other candidates some time. The mantis party has ruled for too long. I don't know what that explosion was, but it's not really my problem. That- Wow, I'm actually still alive. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> The note at the podium is a prepared speech. It talks about how the overseers are elected and then sent into a death chamber behind his office. We want to understand why the vault's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice. To fully comprehend why we continue to have these elections despite the unfettered corruption that has plagued it for what must be decades by now. There was a simpler time when elections meant shaking hands and kissing babies. But now, with the rise of the voting blocks and the infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling, and God knows what else, we want to know why. And thus began the system of electing someone to be overseer, letting them rule for a year, and then executing them. And the sacrificial chamber's password was his wife Betty's first name. I seem to have lost my companions. Raoul the Ghoul and Hope the Slave have disappeared on me. You guys, I found out the history of the elections. Oh, got a mantis here I missed. You didn't devour my companions, did ya? Oh, my weapon broke. Oh, man. Oh. Think I found Raoul. 
Um... <laughs> that was a potent grenade. Didn't see that coming. Hmm. That'll have to do for now. And the terminal. Now we can use it. Okay, down we go. Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. It really doesn't. Go to the light. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. I don't trust this thing. All this technology. We already know this is a sacrificial chamber. They might start pumping gas in. Um, the show requires that you sit in the chair. Maybe a couple of false floor tiles. Then where would the corpses go? There must be some kind of chute. You have no other choice. You must sit in the chair. Hope I command you to sit in that chair on my behalf. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. It's gonna be the gas chamber. Uh, or it's gonna be this. Okay, we got some robots here. Oh, uh, maybe these stupid technologies will come in handy now. It's like a regular grenade, but against robots, right? We did it? Hey, we did it! Good job, Raul. Wait, is Hope still alive? Hope? Hope, no, God! <laughs> oh, don't, you now? don't scare me like that, Hope. Come on. Losing two slaves in the same week, that would, that would reflect poorly on me. So what's behind this door? Oh my, <laughs> look at all this armor. I think this has been a very fruitful endeavor. Here, Raul, try one of these on. Let me know how it feels. Wow. Look at you. That is some snazzy armor. I like that. That's really good on you, Raul. I think I've pieced everything together. The overseer that they elected became the annual sacrifice, but... A couple people weren't happy with last year's elections, and a civil war broke out, and everyone died except for five people. And they went up to the machine and said they weren't going to sacrifice anybody. And the machine's response? Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. They expected them to not sacrifice anybody all along. A shining example. That's what it called us. But we were. We did what we were supposed to. Not by a long shot. I'll go first. Wait, wait! People should know what happened. They could learn from it. If there's anyone out there at all, I hope they never have to find out. No, no, no! Wait! <sighs> from the audio log, it sounded like there were four gunshots and the final person walked away. So there might still be a single survivor of Vault 11 out there. What do you think, Raul? You think I got the tracking senses to hunt this person down and ask them a few questions? I'll take you up on that offer, you'll see! 
You hear what the chatty cat said to the tongue? I just don't get you. Get out of that fucking chair! Several sets of footprints in the area, including our own, but I think I've found a distinct set of prints that belong to a vault tech suit. The trail leads right to this building. A collapsed cavern, apparently. I don't know why they would immediately go into this place, of all the places they could go. Uh, they might not be alive. Hmm. But I have found evidence of a person living down here. I guess the survivor made it past these insects. Just keeps going down deeper into you! Hello! <laughs> More than a bug! Okay. <laughs> All right, let's back out, everybody. Back out. We need to regroup. We need to regroup. Oh, back out. Back out. Gonna make me bust out the heavy weaponry here. God, there's so many of them, too. <laughs> they keep on coming. That's right. Keep them distracted. Oh, crap. Okay, uh. I guess we're doing this. Oh, legendary. Oh, Okay, cool, great. I've poisoned my spear, and the three of us will take him down. It took us some time, but we got it. Oh, now we have a couple of roaches. I feel like the difficulty of this cave is a little inconsistent. I just have a couple of small flies, and a million fire geckos, and then a couple of roaches. Following the pattern, after these roaches, we should have, um... Death claws with lasers shooting out of their eyes? Uh, nah, it looks like I'm a little off. We have some giant ants. The giant ant queens are more susceptible to poison. They say during pregnancy you shouldn't ingest poison. Ah! No, they're fire breathing ants. I of got course, this one. of course they are. Okay. Oh, we got a couple more. Okay, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> You're gonna need a stem pack for that. He ran through all of this! All of this! The three of us can't run through- Oh my lord, why is that one golden? Meanwhile, at Cottonwood Cove! It happened in June, about the anniversary of the meteor's fall. The poor woman screamed about things in the air which she could not describe. And in her raving, there was not a single specific noun, but only verbs and pronouns. Things moved and changed and fluttered. And he is tingled to impulses which were not wholly sounds. Dick, this book is boring. I know I asked you to read because I was bored, but this this sucks. It just sucks, Dick. I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to betray you. Yeah, well, that means it's punishment time, Dick. I don't like it when you punish your dick. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the cave. Keep it together, Raul. We can do it. I'll see you soon. No, we're, we're going to be good. Nothing in this area? Seriously? This is an actual empty area? I had forgotten those existed. Oh, chaos of doors! You ain't gonna win this. I don't think anyone's winning in this one. Oh, lordy! Oh, good minds. I don't want to hear any complaints from you, Raul. I'm tired of dying. Oh! I don't know why I thought the mines would work on flying insects. It, it seems self-evident that that wouldn't work, but I guess I'm just too stupid. I've been doing this longer than you, pal. <sighs> oh. That was a legendary cast door. Scorpions. Here I am, rocking like a hurricane. Why is that song stuck in my head? It just keeps on going. It just keeps on going. It's raining rat scorpions out here. Yes. And here I am without an umbrella. <laughs> I've only got one antivenom, so don't get stung. There's got to be an end at some point to this, right? Death claws. There are death claws in this section. Damn it. It doesn't work underground, does it? No, that would be too convenient. Y you know, now that I think about it, death claws aren't really worthy of my time. They're not a, a serious threat to me, especially not that alpha death claw, so I'm not gonna waste my time and spears killing them. 
I'm just gonna go around them once they get out of the way and I'll save my weapons for actual threats oh Gemini Jesus turn around please no okay oh and he's guarding the exit too this old man's retreating, boss. we're just going to slowly make our way around oh god we're about to die aren't we ow <laughs> run just run don't bother fighting just run there's a gate! They can't get it through the gate, probably! Oh lordy, we did it! I did it at least! Y you'll figure it out! Holy hell, man! How are you alive? I suppose you're here to listen to my story. I consider it a sad one. Well, alright. Let's start with right after I left the vault. I'm- These first few months were hell. When you don't see daylight for almost two decades, the sun will scorch your eyes and make it impossible to see. I'm sorry, did they tear out your vocal cords? That's fair enough, I guess. Traveling during the day would have made me an easy target for all the mutated animals everywhere. In the nighttime, though, I could get the jump on them. This is all unsolicited, by the way. I mainly ate those gecko things and the giant rats, I think. Absolutely disgusting. I remember one time I was attacked by a giant, fast, clawed creature. I'd never seen anything like it before. Are you talking about those eight guys behind me? It almost ripped me to shreds, but in a panic, I threw a grenade in its mouth and ran faster than I'd ever ran before. Into this cave with a bunch of them? After maybe half a year of hunting or eating mutants, I finally worked up the courage to go to Las Vegas and see if there were still people alive. That there leads us to the next part of my story. Oh, where did he go? Am I hallucinating this? Because it didn't feel like I was hallucinating that! Yeah, no, the death claws are still very real. Very real and very angry. We're just gonna keep on going then. Well, why not? We'll just keep on digging this hole. Keep on digging until we hit daylight, right? Oh, what are the- Oh, good. Oh, they followed us. Oh, yeah. Let's dance. Yeah, you have fun with that. Gee, man. Gee, 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 gee. What? Where? Oh, oh, they want me to kill the tribals here? Oh, good. <laughs> I'm having a grand old time here. Well, on the plus side, tribals won't be as difficult to kill as the death claws. At the same time, I only have four spears. Three spears. You guys want to help me out here? I'm out of spears. Back to the wrench it Come is. On. Would you believe that the wrench did not help me? I didn't want to do it because I found this weaponry beneath me, but I will fight fire with fire. You like that? No. No, I do not. Oh, landmines! I see! There we go. Okay. We're just running. We're just gonna run. Had That's enough. the strategy that worked for us last time. That didn't work for us this time. Nope. I'm putting it all on red. Hey, you're a real pain in the ass to track down. Getting to Las Vegas was easy, but I would have never expected what I found. What was actually there was a terrible amount of tribal groups skirmishing with each other for resources and territory. Again, all of this is unsolicited. I can't count the number of people that robbed and attacked me as I tried to make my way to the strip, but I managed to fight them all off. Finally, I found some people who would actually listen to me, including Pat, who I'd worked with before the bombs fell. With my practical skills from the vault and surviving in the desert, I helped this group fight off raiders, gather supplies, and repair weapons. Then one day, something happened. Be nice if I could talk to you, instead of you... Giving me your entire life story and then running away. Oh, for crime. Can I just... Can I, I'm, I'm just gonna close this. I'm just gonna close that. Yeah, no. Ugh. I keep thinking, how could this get worse? How could this get worse? And it just keeps on getting worse. It's quite a feat, honestly. Ah, uh, not today. Not today. That one goes. Oh, okay. Today, apparently. You know, there were other things I wanted to do today. 
was hoping to get a lot. Oh, okay, okay. You like that? How were there so many people down here? Did they all get past the death claws as well? We got it. We're good. Hey, how's it going? Now oh, you are a hallucination. Damn it. They came like wildfire, stealing land and taking lives faster than anyone could have expected. The military, people we used to look up to for security had come, devolved into a group of petty raiders. With advanced tech and the training to use it though, they were unstoppable. From their bunker attack after attack weakened my tribe and killed so many friends. The last straw came when Pat was killed trying to defend our food supply, and I knew I had to do something. I rallied all the tribes in Las Vegas against this common enemy. We stormed their base with righteous anger and drove them out of the Mojave for good. Life returned to normal in Vegas, but this incident had left its permanent mark on me. I'll leave a permanent mark on you. So, we're coming to the end of my story. Boy, if you looked up exposition dump on the dictionary, you'd see his face. You wouldn't sell very many dictionaries though, because that's an ugly face. The death and destruction brought by the military took me back to my time in the vault. I couldn't stand losing everything again, and decided that I would end my life. And so that leaves us here, in the present. I had nothing left to share. You realize, don't you, I was never here to begin with. The future of this land lays in your hands, even if you don't realize it. Goodbye, my friend, my silent observer. Ugh. Okay, we're out! Looks like he didn't survive after all. He killed himself as well. I'm not even gonna address that. Lord Kaisar, I have some amazing news! I found a bunch of armors in an underground vault, and they are Legion themed, made specifically for you, it would seem. Excellent, my lord. I think that armor is quite befitting for you. Have you brought news of the boomers? Uh, no, but Chief Harlan has been killed. He died the humiliating death he deserved. Right under their noses, too. You are good, aren't you? I'm still working on the boomers, though. I expect results sooner rather than later. <laughs> I got waylaid by a few things recently. Oh, man, what happened to you? Did you fall into that fire? Was there more for us to discuss? Yeah, the Omerita thugs are dead, and Martina's alive. For now, anyway. She'll need to lay low while the Omertas are scrambling to find out what happened. They'll eventually send more men after her, but I'm sure I'll come up with a better solution to the problem by then. By the way, she said she sold her information to Captain Curtis in the NCR. I know the Captain well. If you wish to be of service, go talk to him. We'll just put that on my to-do list. I think the boomers might be more of a pressing concern. I'm glad you guys had my back through that. That was certainly a rough ride. Next time, we are probably gonna go to the boomers once and for all. Unless I get sidetracked again. I guess we'll see. My motto is, if you ain't got something nice to say, don't say anything at all. You are just the absolute worst.